Does your animation also look like this? If yes, then in this video you are going to learn how to level up your animation from this to this. First you will have to understand that why it is not looking good. There are mainly two reasons for this. One, there are not enough in-betweens. In this animation there is only one in-between in two keyframes, and that's why it is not looking smooth. So in order to make it smooth, you will have to make more in-betweens, but just adding more in-betweens will not make it better. You will have to do one more thing, which is easing. The best and traditional method to do this is to draw more in-betweens all by your hand, which is very time-consuming and hard to do. That's why I have a short method for you all to make your animation better. All you have to do is just make 4 copies of the first frame. Now come to the first frame, and make a selection of your subject with the help of lasso tool. Now bring this anchor point from center to the right side of selection. Now squash the character from the left side a bit. Now move to the second frame and repeat the same process. But this time squash it a little less from the previous frame. If you want to see the previous frame you can turn on the onion skin from here. Try to make selections of same size for all the frames, don't make random selections, or else the anchor point will be different for each frame, and your animation will not look good. Repeat the same process for rest 3 frames as well, and leave the 4th frame as it is. Make sure you don't over squash it, try to keep it subtle. Now come to the second keyframe, and make 4 copies of this as well. And repeat the same process, come to the 6th frame, make a selection of it, but this time move the anchor point to the left side, and squash it a little from right side, do the same for 2 more frames, and gradually keep on decreasing the squash amount, for every next frame. And leave the last frame as it is. Now make 3 copies of last frame and the first frame, to hold it for some time. Now it is looking much better than before, because we have added easing to it, but we can make it more smooth by adding some in-betweens. All you have to do is make one more copy of the in-between frame, come to the first one, and place it somewhere in the middle of previous and the next frame, squash it a bit as well. Now make one more copy of it, leave the second in-between as it is, and move on to the third one, and place this one in the middle of previous and next frame as well. Now it is looking much better and smooth than before, you can see the difference by yourself. You can use this method almost everywhere, all you have to keep in mind is the line of action. But keep one thing in mind, which I said earlier that, the best method is still to draw the in-betweens, not copying. You can see it yourself, in the first clip most of the frames are copied, and in the second clip almost every frame is drawn, not copied. And that's why second clip is looking better than the first one. You also pick colors and flip a clip like this, like you go to colors option, then you click on the eyedropper and pick the color, and paint over your character. Then you again go to colors and pick the next color and paint it, and do this process again and again. Stop doing it. This is the wrong way of painting something in flip a clip. So what you should do? Solution is very simple, create your own color palette. You can create your own color palette very easily, all you have to do is, first choose all the colors you will need to paint your character just like this. Then go to colors option by clicking here. Then click on this side dropper and pick the first color. Now click on this icon, now you will notice that here a new color preset is created. Now again click on this side dropper and pick the second color. Now click on this plus button, and you will see that the color you just picked is now added to this preset. Repeat the process for rest of the colors. There are only 5 color slots in one color palette, but don't worry, you can make as much presets as you want. And now whenever you'll need a color, just click on this box, and select the color you want from the presets you have created. This way you will not have to pick color from eyedropper again and again. All you have to do is just create a palette once, and use it as many times as you want. Whenever you need to erase something in Flip a Club, you just select the eraser tool and erase that area. Right. If yes then stop using eraser every time to erase something, because I have a better way for you all to erase something in Flip a Club. Let me show you. Here I have drawn this box, and I want to erase the unwanted part from the corners. So if I will use the eraser tool for it, then it will erase it something like this. But I want to make it sharp edged corner. And it is erasing it in round shape. If I decrease its size to the lowest, then it is erasing it sharp. But this way it will take a lot of time to erase it, because the size of eraser is very small, or else I'll have to change the size of eraser again and again. So the best method to erase something in Flip a Club is to use Lasso Tool. Just click on it and make a selection of the area you want to remove, then simply click on this delete button. And voila. Now you have your perfectly cut sharp edged corner. You can very easily cut a big area as well as a small area in just a matter of some seconds, without changing the eraser size again and again. 
You can also cut in straight line with this tool just like this. I personally use this tool almost every time when I need to erase something. You also want to level up your drawing from this to this. If yes then this tip is definitely for you. Whenever our character looks boring and flat, we tend to make some shadows over it. But sadly Flip -a Club doesn't has an airbrush. But don't worry, you can very easily create the same airbrush texture in Flip -a Club. Here is how. All you have to do is create a new layer, pick the base color from eyedropper tool, now make it a bit darker and contrasty. Now create a patch of it, just like this, now go to the eraser, increase the softness to 100%, and change the size a bit as well. Now softly erase it from the sides just like this. Then pick the selection tool and make a selection of it, and make it bigger and place it wherever it fits the best. Then erase the extra parts, and repeat the same process for other parts as well. And you are done. 